The overturning of Roe vs. Wade in June 2022 was not the end of the pro-life movement, stressed Bishop Michael Burbage of Arlington, Virginia, on Thursday evening in Washington, D.C., and pro-lifers should not lose faith or motivation after recent legislative and electoral defeats. For many of us, the overturning of Roe vs. Wade was a moment of relief, a moment of new life, an exodus from the oppression under which we lived for 50 years, said Burbage on Thursday, January 18, in remarks he delivered as principal celebrant and homilist at the opening mass for the National Prayer Vigil for Life. The National Prayer Vigil for Life is an annual event on the eve of the March for Life. It's held at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in D.C. Ending abortion must include the changing of hearts, Virginia faith leader. The Mass was con-celebrated by dozens of priests and bishops, including Cardinal Christophe Pierre, the Apostolic Nuncio to the United States, and Archbishop Timothy Broglio of the Archdiocese for the Military Services, USA, the President of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, USCCB. A copy of Burbage's remarks was shared with Fox News Digital. In the 18 months since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in the Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization decision, it is clear that Dobbs is not the end, said Burbage, who leads the USCCB's pro-life committee. It is a victory, a tremendous victory, but not a decisive one, he said. There is still work to be done. While the Supreme Court found that there was no federal right to an abortion, some states have taken it upon themselves to enshrine abortion rights in their state constitutions, Burbage noted. The lives of the unborn are still in danger, in some places, more so than ever, he said on Thursday night. The lives of innocent children are being taken. Mothers are still being harmed. Couples, children, families are still in need of resources, support and love. March for Life, reveals theme for 2024 event in post-Row United States. While the pro-life movement has suffered defeats in the wake of Dobbs, said Burbage, we have learned important and practical lessons. He went on, money is flooding in to help our opponents tell falsehoods, to deceive people and to portray anyone who stands up for life as irrational, radical and intolerant, he said. And while Burbage claimed that, our opponents are also supported by the media and public relations strategists, the pro-life side has, truth. The Mass on Thursday evening, January 18, was celebrated at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. The Basilica is pictured here in a 2021 photograph. Robert Nopes UCG Universal Images Group via Getty Yet, we must find new ways of communicating truth, said Burbage. How, without compromise, where, even in the darkest places, through service, and always with Christ at the center. The right to life, said Burbage, will always be true, as it stems from God. All of human life is sacred. The right to life is absolutely fundamental, he said. Nobody, emphasize the bishop, can directly take the life of another, nor do they have a right to devalue another or say if a person's life is worth living. March for Life attendees call for abortion bans and support for pregnant women. We live in a world where some, including those elected to the highest offices, sadly neglect these basic truths and or want to compromise or negotiate with them, he said. As Christians, it is our sacred duty to vigorously and tirelessly defend these truths. At the same time, our deepest victory as a movement lies in responding in the only way worthy of the human person. In love, we live in a world where some, sadly neglect these basic truths and or want to compromise or negotiate with them. As time goes on, the pro-life movement must, communicate the truth even in the darkest places, said Burbage. This means going to states, where there are victories to be won, even if those states have already, acted to enshrine extreme abortion policies into law. U.S. Catholic bishops issue sharp rebuke to pro-abortion Catholic members of Congress. Even in the darkest places, we can be a light, said Burbage. Like Jesus, it is not enough to reserve our message for those who will readily receive it, and to pursue victories only in those places where we are likely to win. Instead, he said, the pro-life movement, must persist in those places where our message is rejected, as an act of bringing, light to the darkest corners. Every life is worth the effort, he said. In addition to bringing light, the pro-life movement, must serve generously, said Burbage, as Jesus would do. Because, in spite of our best efforts, things will only go our way some of the time. Laws will come and go, he said. There will be moments of victory, there will be moments of defeat. We will feel elated, we will feel discouraged. Political views and public opinion will change.